And we begin with a partial federal government shutdown that is sweeping the country. It is the first time in 17 years that the nation has faced this situation. So all of this fallout is coming because Congress failed to reach an agreement on a spending bill with the president. Congress, of course, has to pass laws to spend money. If the president vetoes the laws, Congress doesn't have the authority to spend money. Vicious cycle. Earlier today, President Barack Obama said the shutdown is more about just money. He once again blamed the stalemate on a small number of conservatives in the House who are unwilling to support his health care reform law. Well, this shutdown is not about deficits. It's not about budgets. This shutdown is about rolling back our efforts to provide health insurance to folks who don't have it. It's all about rolling back the Affordable Care Act. This, more than anything else, seems to be what the Republican Party stands for these days. The partial shutdown has closed national parks and government offices. And it's also affecting those who serve. Tonight, News 8's Josh Scheinblum joins us live from our Middletown newsroom with more on how the shutdown is impacting National Guard troops. Here in the state of Connecticut, we have a number of different places where members of the National Guard serve, from Orange, Connecticut, to Bradley International Airport, to Windsor Locks. All of them officials with the National Guard tell me are being affected by this federal government shutdown. Hopefully this is short-lived and hopefully come back to work very shortly. It's not an easy day to be a citizen soldier. You know, to let them know, so, well, we don't know how long this is going to go, is really not an answer that they want to hear. John Whitford is a colonel in the Connecticut National Guard. He says all you have to do to see the consequences of a shutdown federal government is take a look at the parking lot at his offices in Hartford. Normally on a, on a work day it is full and uh, full with vehicles and again they've been notified and as you can see there are many empty spots. In all, some 540 members of the Connecticut National Guard have been furloughed as a result of the government shutdown. But that, say, officials with the group is only the tip of the iceberg of the problem. They say there's also a real ripple effect. Uh, the impact on us is operations will be very much slowed to almost nothing. A day of problems members of the National Guard hope goes away soon so they can all get back to work. The longer this goes on, the more of the impact you'll see. You won't see it today, you won't see it that much tomorrow, but uh, talk to me and you know, if it goes on 10 to 15 days or longer, talk to me about morale and see how that is. Now, the types of jobs that are being furloughed are mainly those for technicians, uh, things that involve um, maintaining and updating aircraft, uh, as well as other types of uh, motor vehicles. And the good news, at least, is that despite the government shutdown, should there be a major disaster, that is one thing that the Connecticut National Guard says they will be able to respond to no matter what takes place in Washington. For now, we're live in the Middletown Newsroom at the Middletown Press. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.